Hey everybody, it's Paul from Canadian Woodworks Legacy Lumber. This is a first in our series of Slabber Day on Saturday. You heard it right, we're going to be cutting monster logs during the week and every Saturday we're going to come at you with a new video about sawmilling monster logs. Since this is the first in the series, we're going to cut two logs. We got a red oak and a huge white oak. So let's get to work, make some sawdust. We got to move this log onto the mill and get it cut. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, let's go get some logs. All right, let's go to the sawmill already. The log is on the mill. We just have to wedge it now. Covered in mud too, that's awesome. Break some of that off. This is a big one. This is close to, this is, um, my saw can cut 72 inches, so this must be 68 or so. All right, we got the log loaded on the mill. We're gonna have to get a blade, put it on the sawmill. If you didn't already know, we have a custom made uh, 72 inch wide sawmill. We have a 20 horsepower electric motor. It runs a two inch wide blade that's 25 feet, 8 inches long, huge, huge blade. We're going to grab one of those, throw it on the mill. It's fully electrically driven as well, electrically up and down. Uh, and I just love this thing. It, it, chews, it chews up these logs all day long, no problem. So let's throw a blade on, make some sawdust. All right, let's get a saw blade. We're getting treated. Brand new blades. These are from Peninsula Slaw. Peninsula Slaw, it's actually a saw company. Uh, these are blades from Lennox is the brand. Brand spanking new, two inch wide, so uh, I've got to open these up without cutting my fingers off. Let's see what I can do here. I gotta get some snips. Now we're gonna tension the blade. That's back here. We're gonna to go to around 3,000 on this gauge. I forget what that actually is on the blade. Uh, I'd have to check it out. I think it's around 18,000 PSI on the blade. Hopefully it settles where we want it. Watch your fingers. Looking good so far. And it usually gets a little bit easier once it's 
set into position. Yeah, we're looking good. These are wheels from Cook Saw, 30 inch diameter wheels. We bought the wheels, we bought the blade guides from Cook Saw. Virtually everything else has been fabricated locally uh, by a Mennonite company. And she's cut a lot of logs. <laughs> it's done really well. Okay, we got our blade on, it's tracking very well. I've also already set the guides to the width of the log. Let's go check out the control panel. I'll show you how the mill goes up and down and drives itself. All right, this is our super, super duper Star Trek fancy control panel. We have our up, down, up, down, squeaks on the way down. Then we drive forward, which we can control the speed. So I flick it in the forward, and I turn the rheostat. Oh my god, oh my god, the log, slow it down. Now we go reverse, we flick the switch backwards. Same thing, speed control on the reverse. Pretty fancy, fancy. Then we turn on the blade. Haven't done this in months. Safety switch, engage. Okay, we're good to go. Blade is tensioned, mill's working good, blade's tracking properly. I have my guide set to the width, and I have a scale that we actually custom made on our laser engraver. We're going to be cutting this stuff at 10 quarter, so I'm going to line up for my first cut. Let's hopefully not hit metal. Waste cuts off. Hopefully, I can uh, get this off and slide it right onto the forks. Ho! Hey! <laughs> I don't think so. I think I need a hand. Alright, when we took the waste cut, we did remove that from it, but usually I'll leave two, three, four, five slabs before I start removing them. I pay close attention while it's cutting to look for any waves in the cut. If that's the case, I'm going to take the slabs off immediately and check out the cut and see what's going on. But if everything seems like it's cutting nice and flat, and also at the very end of the cut, if it doesn't sound like the motor's struggling, sometimes it'll pinch at the very end of the cut. I'm just going to keep cutting because the slabs themselves actually keep the log stable. Whew. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, baby! Woo! Oh, man! Where have you been all my life? You've been in my log yard for years. Oh, baby. Oh. Whew! You could do one of those poles. It's just, uh, are those sounds from a. Contra, a sawmiller or a porn star? Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, first cut was great. Didn't, I don't think we hit any rocks, no metal. It cut perfectly flat. The grain is insanely beautiful. We're going to show you green, shot, green, green shots right now. This white oak is just insanely full of character. Excited to see the rest of these slabs. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> All right, we've got three slabs sliced. Let's pop them off. I wasn't trying. Okay, here we go. 
It's always fun seeing what's inside. Touchdown. Looks like uh, somebody was living in here. Ah! The character in this slab log is amazing. All right, we're three slabs into the log. Let's check out what we got on the narrow end. We got about 40 inches. If you can read upside down. Let's see where it's the widest. Up to 55 inches. Uh, we got a, just under nine feet long. So we're gonna slice them up, probably get another two or three slabs. We'll remove those and we'll keep going until this beauty's done. We're done, nine slabs. Compulsory water pop. Let's go. Can't really appreciate the wood until you get pop that grain. And a little bit right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Beautiful white oak. All right everyone, that is a wrap. That is one huge white oak log. It was about 64 inches full size, massive, pushing my sawmill to the limits. Everything went really, really well. I got flat cuts, we got beautiful grain, and we got nine amazing slabs that are extremely heavy, by the way. So thanks to Andy, the cameraman, <laughs> for not only putting together these videos so you guys can watch them, but he helped out, added in a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of elbow grease. Woo! So this is a first in a series of our Slabber Day Saturdays. We're gonna try and sawmill one huge log every week and we'll be dropping the video every Saturday. So if you liked it, please let us know. It was actually a hard day working, guys. I'm usually, uh, usually in the office these days. So, you know. It was good though. Nice to be back on the saw, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone, make it a great one.